Česká baseballová reprezentace už se v Japonsku při přípravě na World Baseball Classic sešla v kompletní sestavě. Jedním z posledních dílků skládáčky byl 36-letý Erik Sogard, který mimo jiné odehrál 11 let v nejvyšší lize světa americké MLB. Erik, hello and thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having me. You received your Czech citizenship about a year ago. How did it feel to finally put the Czech national team jersey on? It was very special for me. It was something I wanted to do a very long time. Uh, my younger brother Alex got to play with the Czech squad a couple times for qualifiers and you know, I was always jealous in a way um, and my schedule with the major leagues never worked out where I could join them so you know I finished my career in the major leagues there and I'm happy to have the opportunity to join the Czech squad and you know put the jersey on. As you mentioned, your brother Alex played with the team at the 2016 qualifier in Mexico. Did you get a chance to talk to him about uh, the Czech national team a little bit? Yes, absolutely. He said it's a great group of guys. They love the game of baseball and they love to have fun. You know, they play together as a team, which is which is really special, especially in the game of baseball. So, you know, he said it was a lot of fun and is something that he will never forget. You both were able to be part of uh, the Czech national team squad due to your mother being born and raised in Czech Republic. Did you talk to her? How special does it feel? Her both sons representing a country she once might have thought to never see again. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a dream come true for her. It's something that she honestly has dreamed about for a long time, especially she's, she's followed Czech baseball a bit and, and see how much it continues to grow and improve. So she's certainly happy to uh, have both of her sons put on a Czech uniform. So this was your first time just a couple days ago. How does it feel for you to be a 36-year-old rookie on a team? <laughs> it's great. Always great to be a part of a team and to be a part of this team. It's, it's a special group of guys. You can tell how close they are as players and as friends, truly like a family. And, you know, they, they welcomed me with open arms, so I'm, I'm very grateful to be here and, and help out any way I can. You also looked like you were having fun joking around with the boys. They calling you the rookie. You had to sit on a on the bad seats on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, rookies got to do what a rookie's got to do. So, hey, I'm happy to do it, and it's, it's just a fun group. Their story resonates a lot in the last couple of months, being amateurs who have to have their, their daily job and then go play baseball on an international, we can say professional level, competing against the best countries. Yeah. Uh, how special does it feel to you when you see them here finally having their pro life, we can say, at the tournament such as World Baseball Classic? Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for these guys and, and to see what they have done with, with what they have. Obviously, yeah, like you said, they have normal jobs, so any work toward the game of baseball is done after hours so it's incredible to see their work ethic and how, how much they love the game of baseball um, it's it's special and these guys are they are professionals they truly are professionals and i'm excited for them to be on that professional level were you maybe afraid a little bit how the group is going to take you nothing personal but uh, they kind of fought for a world baseball classic together and now these these pro is coming in right i wasn't too worried you know my my goal here is to help them in any way possible so you know i ask them you tell me tell me how i can help tell me what i can do to help i'm not here to to come and, and steal the show you guys you guys earned everything here i just want love to be a part and help hopefully get to that next level the team succeeded in the qualifier in Regensburg. You were actually supposed to be part of the team as you already had your Czech citizenship, but had to miss it due to injury. Did you follow the, the games anyway? Did you I watch did. It? Yeah, I, I followed every single game. And obviously the first game was tough against yeah, Spain, but you know, continued to battle and battle and, and play Spain again in that last game. And you know, in baseball, anything can happen. And the way these guys fight, it was, it was so excited. I was, I was so excited to see them win and, and move on to the next level. Did you have any doubts about the team when you saw that uh, two cold guys that Spain put the uh, free touchdowns on them? That's baseball. <laughs> you know, I've, I've played long enough where you know anything can happen in the game of baseball. So you know, credit to these guys for for flushing it and moving on to the next game and, and getting those big wins. You know, these guys. It was fun to watch them fight and battle and and really do what they do. They place every single pitch, give everything they have each pitch, and, and in the end, they, were, they, they won. Right now, you are the only uh, guy on the roster with MLB experience. Do you feel that you have any sort of a special role? The only professional there who already experienced a stadium with, with, with over 50,000 people in the stands? Yeah, I think it's helpful to have experienced that in the past. Um, I know these guys will be excited. They will feel that energy from the crowd, and. 
I kind of try and tell them the little things as in communication on the field can be more challenging when it is that loud, but I tell them you focus on that pitch and in the end that's all that really matters. You go out, give everything you have and you will, you will enjoy the experience and it'll be something you'll never forget. You have the experience of playing on the top level against the best players that uh, most of the players here from the Czech squad will get for the first time in their career. Were there any specific advices you, you, you gave them or will give them to how to face the best pitchers in the game? I know these guys are going about it with the right attitude, I think, and that's one of the biggest things. There's really two ways you can go about it. When you're facing the best, you can be scared and, oh no, he's the best, he's going to get me out. Or you can say, he's the best, I'm going to give everything I have and let's go have some fun doing it. And that's the way these guys look at it. So. Already right there is a big win in their mindset of how they're going to go about the best and I think that's going to help them succeed at, at this level. The only Czech uh, player so far was Martin Cerveka who actually reached the, we can say the top level, so he was up there. And he reassured the boys that uh, it's okay that over 95 miles per hour everything looks the same. Can you relate on it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, <laughs> it's all moving really fast, right? <laughs> But I think these guys will, will be able to handle it fine. It's still the same game of baseball. It's not like the ball is going to be disappearing. These guys, these guys know how to play the game. Um, so I think they're going to be fine. And especially under the, uh, the bright lights, I think they'll be ready to step up. Your last MLB game in the top league of the world was in June 2021. And you were released, then came the injuries. Is there any chance that you will be considering getting back, especially after having a quality off season for the World Baseball Classic? I don't think so. I think I've come to terms that my time professionally is is over, which I'm I'm fine with. Um, I'm grateful for these opportunities now, playing in the WBC, and you know these were opportunities that I'd likely have to pass up on if I was still trying to play professionally. But I had a long career, um, a lot of great experiences, met a, a lot of awesome players that I still stay in touch with. So great memories and now I'm happy to be a full-time dad and, and you know hang out with the family and my five children. And maybe full-time Czech national team player as you can now also uh, participate at the international championships such as European Championship that is hosted right. by Czech Republic in the fall. Have you already talked about this with the manager Pavel Khadim? Yes we have. Obviously our focus right now is the WBC but I think we have we have talked about it a bit and obviously if the opportunity is there and, and things work out I'd love to join them as well in September. You obviously have to stay in shape during the season considered uh, playing in a Czech extra league? I've, I've considered possibly maybe joining the last month or so and, and getting at bats and getting ready for, for playoffs and, and the European Championship so if that could work out absolutely that'd be fun and again my family and I have, have not been out to Czech Republic yet so we've always dreamed about going and Hope to be able to do it and put on a Czech uniform out there would be a dream. You brought your family with your five beautiful kids and a, and a lovely wife, Casey. You brought them with you to Japan. It's nice seeing you being really close. Have you considered spending a couple of months in the country that you are now a citizen of, in Czech Republic? We have. We continue to talk about it. We love to travel. Um, the kids are great travelers and love exploring. And I think that's something that we certainly will continue to talk about in the future. And, and we just need to get our first trip over there. We got to get our feet over there and, and, and see what it's all about. And I think we're just excited in any way to, to go do that. How do they like seeing Daddy Eric back on a baseball field? They're excited. And that was, that was one of the bigger things that brought me back and wanted to play as well was when I was playing in the major leagues, a lot of my kids were very young. So they probably don't remember as much. And now, they're getting a little older, especially my, my two oldest being nine and seven. You know, I've been coaching his baseball teams and I think it'll be fun for him to be able to come to the games and, and see me on the field again playing and hopefully remember that I, I was a ball player. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, in just a couple of days, we will be playing in a Tokyo Dome on the biggest stage in Asia, World Baseball Classic with Czech national team. How does it feel when I say it out loud like this? Uh, it's, it's a dream come true. Uh, Tokyo Dome is a very special place. You know, some of the best baseball in the world is played over there. And I'm, again, just so excited for these guys who have earned it tremendously to go over there and, and play and play in front of thousands on, on one of the biggest stages in the world. Thank you for your time, Eric, and good luck at the WBC. Thank you very much for having me.
Tolik už nejzkušenější hráč české reprezentace Erik Sugard před startem World Baseball Classic a jen připomenu, že turnaj začíná 8. března a jeho kompletní program přinese Česká televize na platformách Sport a Sport+.